Former tennis star James Blake says this surveillance video paints a clear picture of what happened two years ago outside the Grand Hyatt Hotel in Midtown. He says NYPD officer James Frescatori in the white t-shirt used excessive force when he wrongly arrested and pinned him to the ground in a case of mistaken identity. I'm using my celebrity to make sure this doesn't happen to other people, especially from this particular officer, and hopefully see that there's change for all other officers to understand that there will be accountability. Frescatori has been on modified duty since the incident. This morning, his disciplinary hearing began at police headquarters in Lower Manhattan. The officer testified he was following orders when he took down Blake, claiming he was warned the credit card fraud suspect they were looking for may be armed with knives. The officer Frascator acted professionally, calmly, deliberately in every way, caused no injury to Mr. Blake, and as soon as they found out he was the wrong man, he was let go. Blake was released after about 15 minutes. He says he suffered a bruise on his backside and a cut on his elbow and feels fortunate his injuries weren't worse. Today, surrounded by anti-police brutality activists, he's demanding the city fire Frescatori. The NYPD confirms the 40-year-old cop had also been named in several other civilian complaints back in 2013. This officer shouldn't have a job. He doesn't have the temperament for it. He doesn't have um, the capabilities to, to serve our community in a, in a positive way. The trial will resume tomorrow morning. Morning, beginning with testimony from a police expert who trains officers in the use of force. Outside police headquarters in Lower Manhattan, Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News.